here we are in Ishpeming, Michigan at Jasper Knob looking at banded iron formations. Banded iron formations formed during a fascinating time of Earth history called the Great Oxidation Event. This occurred about 1.8 to 2.4 billion years ago. Now, prior to this great oxidation event, there was no free oxygen on Earth, none of the O2 that we breathe. And when there's no oxygen present, iron is really, really soluble in water. So the Earth's oceans had lots and lots of iron dissolved in them. But then photosynthetic organisms evolved, and they started putting O2, this molecular oxygen, into the atmosphere. And that oxygen combined with the iron dissolved in the world's oceans, and when you get iron oxide, that's very insoluble. So all of these iron oxides, these dark layers that we see in there are um, iron oxide minerals. Those started precipitating to the bottom of the world's oceans, creating these banded iron formations. Now, the story is a little more complex than that, and researchers are still looking into exactly how these banded iron formations form, but that's the basic story. Now, these rocks here are from the Nagani Iron Formation, and traditionally this has been dated to about 2.2 billion years ago, but recent research shows they might be as young as 1.8 billion years old, which would make them amongst the last of the banded iron formations to form during that great oxidation event.